Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Christmas Crisis 2023. Anarchy in the arena. We have a continuing story between the Bloodline and the Bull Club. The Bull Club have two surprise entrants into this matchup and Umaga makes his debut for the Bloodline tonight looking to help and maybe capture some titles for the Bloodline. As you can see the Christmas decorations spread throughout the arena. And here comes the debuting Solo Sokoa. The newest entry into the Bull Club. A homegrown talent from the Bloodline himself. I'm very excited to see what Solo Sokoa can bring to the table here in WWE as we've seen no in-ring action from Solo Sokoa yet. But tonight we will witness his debut. This marks the third year anniversary of Christmas Crisis here in WWE and what a way to celebrate it. And here comes Umaga. Umaga's had a few matches here in WWE, but not one quite as big as this. There's no telling on how this match will go, especially the fact that we don't know who the two surprise entrances for the Bullet Club are. But uh, I'd say as of right now, I mean, the Bloodline have the upper hand. I mean, having Umaga on your team is a pretty big advantage. But here we can look at the rules for this matchup. There are three different rounds. The first round is for the Nitro Tag Team Championships. The second round is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And the third and final round is for the Hardcore Championship. The champion does not have to be pinned to lose their championships. Pinfalls count anywhere and no DQ. Now, anyone can win a singles championship here, as obviously, as long as you're not on the same team as that person with the singles championship. Now, the tag team championship round is different than the singles championship round, as there's only one official tag team on each side as of now. I say as of now, because we don't know who the hell the other two people are on the Bullet Club. But let's say Kenny Omega will pin Solo Sokoa, and it's a tag team championship round. Then that means the Bull Young Bucks win the tag team championship gold. Oh, I'll finish after the pyro. So since Kenny Omega is not in an official tag team, that would mean by default it would go to the only official tag team on their team, which is the Impulse. I know it sounds a little confusing, but the more you think about it, it's not really that confusing. But here comes your world heavyweight champion and the leader of the book club, Roman Reigns. He's putting that world heavyweight championship on the line tonight. He has dominated every person he's defended his title against. And that might be no different tonight. The bloodline looks ready to go to war. Which is good because they are about to go to war tonight. The Bullet Club is no cakewalk. This will be a battle between the two most dominant factions here in WWE. And the ultimate winner tonight will be crowned the most dominant WWE faction in history. The Bloodline preparing in the ring. As it's about time for the Bull Club to make their entrances, it is about time that we figure out who the two surprise entrances for the Bull Club are. As we see Nick and Mac Jackson of the Young Bucks, the first out for the Bull Club. The Young Bucks and the Usos already have a lot of history between each other. So you can imagine, they'll be going at it with each other all night.
the longest reigning hardcore champion here in WWE history, Kenny Omega. Without a doubt, one of the greatest we've ever seen here in WWE. And Lord knows when that title rate is going to end. And now is the time we find out who the surprise is. No one has... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. There's no damn way! Look at the face of Roman Reigns! Oh my god, it is! You've gotta be kidding me! John Moxley and Seth Rollins are going against Roman Reigns in the bloodline! Alongside the Bullet Club, but there goes the Usos over the top rope. Kenny Omega instantly going after Roman Reigns. The two leaders going head to head. Order it to the head of Umaga by John Moxley. Moxley now biting Umaga. Seth Rollins and John Moxley are getting the revenge they wanted for over a year now. Roman Reigns is ignoring them so they level up. And they get involved in his business. Roman Reigns was trying to ignore the pain he's caused to those two. But there's no escaping them. That's a big super kick by Jim Uso. Now it's Jay. Matt Jackson on his shoulders. Ramming him into the Christmas tree. Rollins. Solo Sokoa. Fighting on top of a tower of boxes. Solo Sokoa. Through a table. You're a Nagi. Dear God, the match just started. And look at the chaos that's already ensued. Roman Reigns is going to choke out with a damn candy cane. Moxley looking to choke out Roman. I haven't even got a second to explain that this round's for the Tag Team Championships. So I guess if John Moxley or Seth Rollins gets a pinfall or a submission, then they win the Tag Team Championships. Oh, candy cane. Across the face of Roman Reigns. Backflip! Caught! Spiked on his head! Good lord, Umaga! Uh oh. Roman Reigns gets tied up into the ropes. And Moxley is about to unleash a ton of chops on Roman Reigns. I cannot imagine how good this feels for John Moxley. The pain he's gone through for the past year. And now it's the unwrapping. Oh, not the pencil. I'm getting flashbacks to Christmas Crisis 2022. Roman Reigns stabbed John Moxley and Seth Rollins with a pencil. And Roman, there's no escaping this one, damn it. You're about to get what's been coming for you for about a year now. Come on. Do it, Moxley. Give him what he deserves. Oh, but Omaga. Samoan spike to John Moxley. A huge chop. To Nick Jackson. It's Jey Uso sending him into the barricade or over the barricade into the crowd. As it's the bloodline taking the upper hand with Matt Jackson coming in to help out his brother. Matt Jackson. With the, oh, worked off the top rope! Goes Jimmy Uso and Nick Jackson to need a destroyer! Jey Uso. Trying to get back up to his feet. Umaga looking for a second Samoan spike to John Moxley. A Samoan spike, Superman punch combo into a Samoan drop. What a combination, but it's Kenny Omega coming back into the ring going after Umaga. Jim Uso going after Matt Jackson. And Matt Jackson throwing him into the barricade. And now it's Nick Jackson, I believe. Is he going on a deck Christmas tree? He's getting double teamed, his brother's getting double teamed, he needs to do something! Nick Jackson on top of a Christmas tree! Oh my god, on the Christmas tree! Wow! That's one sturdy Christmas tree, I'll say. Very impressive that both the Young Bucks and the Usos are laid out here. It's a three on three in the ring. Kitty Omega 
Going after one rings. Oh, Hurricane Rana, but gets caught into a power bomb. And here comes the Roman Reigns specialty. The horrific forearms of Roman Reigns. Now Roman. Suplex! Onto the apron. Laying out Kenny Omega. The hardcore champion. And so is the caller. Sending one of the young bucks flying. I didn't get to see who that was, but they just went absolutely flying. A super kick to Solo Sokoa. Matt Jackson getting thrown into a Christmas tree. And now what does Solo Sokoa do? Super kick to John Moxley. John Moxley is getting double teamed by Jimmy Uso and Roman Reigns. He's busted open. Roman, about to teach him a lesson apparently, in his own words. Oh my God! Moxley is just getting abused. And now Jey Uso handing over the candy cane. This is ridiculous. Sick. This is absolutely sick. Jimmy Uso offside, super kicking. Matt Jackson with the help of Sola Sokoa. Nowhere to go for Matt Jackson as his brother's down as well. The bloodline in total control. Seth Rollins still down. Nick Jackson down, and Matt Jackson will not be coming back for a while. Good Lord. Ridiculous. Look at you, again, in a pool of your blood. What did I tell you? I don't know how many times I have to make this clear. You stay away from me. You stay away from my title, and I'll stay away from you. You hear me? You hear me? You're about to put a loser now. You're a loser. You, you are nothing without me. I made you. The shield made you. You, you, you are nothing without the shield. You are a nobody. A nobody. Super kick to Moxley. I mean, Moxley has nothing. I mean, he can't do anything. And Roman Reigns is about to hit the spear. Spear to Moxley. That's it. Moxley has but Omega getting back up to his feet. Oh my god! Snap crack into a table! Where the hell did that come from? And suddenly the ball club has life. Well, you had life. Kenny Omega's out, and that was their only hope. He just took himself out with that, uh, that move. Or, uh, Rollins! Rollins is back in the matchup! Taking on Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso. And now it's Rollins into the ring, going right out the Roman Reigns. And now the real match begins. Rollins unloading on Roman. Looking to repay what he's done to him. And my god, his head's about to go through a drum. Seth Rollins turns off to Roman Reigns. Oh no, no, no. Damn it. The Bullet Club. That's something. Or I should say Team Bullet Club. We don't really know if John Moxley and Seth Rollins have joined the Bullet Club or if they've only used this opportunity. To go after Roman Reigns. As now Kenny Omega has G on the outside. Power bomb position here. Power bomb into the Christmas tree. And now on top of the barricade goes Omega. Kenny gets pushed off into the timekeeper's area. That could have been a, a worse landing than it was, though. Should be grateful. But super kick to Omega. And now Omega. Oh my, what a two box! Are you kidding? 
kidding me? The Roman and, and Rollins this going is, at it. This is what you came back for, huh? This, this is what you wasted your time and rehab for. What? For what? Me to beat your ass again? You hear me? You hear me? You're nothing but a waste of space on this roster. You, you should have just stayed in the hospital when I beat your ass so bad. Oh yeah! Get his ass! Oh hell yeah! Double team him! Get his ass! Come on! Do not let him get a second to breathe! But Moxley can barely stand. And Roman is busted open. What a sight to see. As now we see Kitty Omega and Jey Uso going at it. Yes, Jey Uso has the help of a toolbox. Oh my god, it just hammered his hand! Ow! Omega up to his seat, crawling away, looking to get away from Jey Uso. As now we take a look back into the ring. It's super kick by Rollins. And Roman Reigns is getting a taste of his own medicine. But even after this match, I guarantee you, it'll be nowhere close to the pain that he inflicted on Seth Rollins and John Moxley. But we see Solo Sokoa and Matt Jackson going to the outside. But Solo Sokoa gets caught and into the merchandise. We go. It's, it's Omega and Jey Uso going at it by the merchandise suplex on the concrete floor. It's anarchy in the arena. These guys can go anywhere. I mean, literally anywhere. We see Omega. Got throwing him into the merchandise stand. Oh man, that's gonna cost us a couple bucks. Now Omega up to his feet. They're on top of the table. What in the hell are they doing? Back body drop through the table. Good lord. Yes, that's off sale for tonight, but as we go right back and take a look at a replay here, look at this back body drop. That was an awful landing for Jey Uso now that I look at that. Can we get a replay again? Look at that landing right on his head. Is he okay? Omega, I mean, that's one way to get an upper hand, I guess. Jey Uso just got absolutely comboed now. And where are Solo Sokoa and Matt Jackson? Somewhere back to say Solo Sokoa picks up a laptop and hit Matt Jackson over the head with it. Solo picking up a metal pipe without squeezing the neck of Matt Jackson against the floor with that metal pipe. Blocking off his airway Making it hard for him to breathe, if he can breathe at all, that is. Matt Jackson struggling here. He's not out. He's on the brink of passing out, though. Solo Sokoa throwing him into the table stand there. Solo Sokoa staring at the damage he's caused. And oh my god. Oh my god! Throwing that table on Matt Jackson. And now back into the ring, it's Seth Rollins going after Umaga. But Umaga getting the upper hand and it's Jimmy Uso back into the ring. But gets caught with a lariat by John Moxley. And Moxley sending Roman Reigns out of the ring. And John Moxley hits Umaga over the head with a drum. Umaga can't see anything. Super kick and a paradigm shift. To Umaga! Umaga is out cold! And now it's Moxley going straight after Jimmy Uso! Gonna give him some elbows to the collarbone there! Picking him up, putting him against the ropes now! And he's gonna go for some chops to Jimmy Uso! Taking the shirt off so he can feel all the pain of those chops in and out of chair. Straight to the skull of Jimmy Uso. 
And now, momentum shifts once again in this matchup. It's Team Bullet Club with the upper hand as we take a shot from backstage. It's Jey Uso. Step third to, oh my god, it's Omega going after Jey Uso. Big V trigger. Turning Jey Uso inside out with that one. As he's laid out flat. What will Omega do next? As he's going to pick up Jey Uso and wiping that desk clean with Jey Uso. As now Omega going to pick up Jey Uso and slam it. Oh my god! Damn it, that could have killed him. But Jey Uso still fighting. Looks like he's in the commissioner's office or something. Big suplex. Belly to belly suplex from Solo Sokoa. Matt Jackson is all busted open here. What a kick. Oh my God, it's the APA. David, that is one thing you do not want to do. Do not kick the APA door down. Damn. Seems like Solo Sokoa is learning that the hard way. He's getting the hell out of there. As where is, oh my God, Jeruso. Brain buster on the table! Table did not break and I believe Omega hit the laptop as well. As Solo Sokoa crawling in the backstage area. Gets met by Matt Jackson with a chair shot right to the back. And Solo Sokoa still running away. Back, oh my god. My god! John Moxley bouncing Jim Uso's head off our announcing table. And a back body drop right on the table. Sitting him flying over a table. Now Moxley climbing over as well. But there's the uppercut. But Roman Reigns gets caught with a super kick. Now Seth Rollins gonna flip her inside out. And right on the glass. Some teamwork by Nick Jackson and Seth Rollins. Something I thought I would never say in my lifetime. As now, oh my god, Moxley paradise shift on the table! Good lord, Jim Uso's got to be hurting after that one. I flew through the glass pane. Well, this is what I thought would happen. They're fighting over the pinfall now to see who gets the championship. But Umaga's going to take advantage over that. Some more spike to Nick Jackson. And then, oh my, Jesus Christ! What the hell? Seth Rollins just got ragdolled. What the hell? As so Sokoa and Matt Jackson are getting even deeper to the backstage area. As so Sokoa gets his head bounced off a dumpster truck. But Matt Jackson gets hit with the soda door. And now he's getting slammed to an ambulance. Again from so Sokoa. You can see that rough concrete surface they're on right now. This one hurt if you get slammed into it. But I think... Getting your body slammed into a car is it hurts even more. Oh my god! Matt Jackson is getting tossed around like a ragdoll as well. Head first into the dump truck and again. One more time. Good lord! Solo Sokoa is absolutely brutal! I think it's fair to say Matt Jackson is getting zapped with uh, the most out of everyone here. But now Maga and John Moxley going toe to toe now. Headbutt from Umaga. Slap from Moxley. Another headbutt from Umaga. They're going to keep going back and forth until we get an overpowering winner. And it's Moxley getting slammed into the glass. That is never fun getting slammed into glass pane. I can tell you that. But look at this. Solo Sokoa has dragged the lifeless body of Matt Jackson on top of the damn dumpster truck. And he's eyeing up those two tables. For the love of God, do not do this. Oh, low blow. Matt Jackson fights back. He fights back against... Oh, dear heavens. Oh, dear heavens. Don't tell me he's looking for what I think he is. Oh, look at... Oh! And he a destroyer of the dump truck through a table. Good Lord. Those two will be out of the equation for a while. I will take a replay of this as per usual. Canadian destroyer off the dump truck through two tables. Thankfully, I think 
The table's caught, Matt Jackson, cover! Oh my god, cover! Get that, Kirby Ref! Run, damn it! Run, John! He's on it! The Young Bucks and our new Nitro Tag Team Champions! champions. The Young Bucks! How about that? The Young Bucks take the title off the Usos without even pinning one of the Usos. As now Roman Reigns is going to take some anger out on some poor souls. And Nick Jackson looks to be the first victim here. As Roman Reigns, he's getting that running start. We all know what's about to happen here. Spear by Roman Reigns. Cover. To retain his World of Witch Championship. Oh, what the... most athletic thing I've ever seen in my life. Did he just do a, a, a Phoenix Splash and he just stomped his head in and now he goes over the top rope taking Roman and Umaga out. That is the damnest thing I've ever seen in my life. As we got some more Uso on the Young Buck action here. As now. And now Rollins throwing Roman into the staircase. Rollins getting pumped up here. Throwing him into Moxley. And now, Jim Musso going to bash Nick Jackson's head in with that monitor. Because now, what the hell is Jim Musso eyeing up? That big ass Christmas tree that somehow fit in this arena. It's now Roman Reigns gets his head hit to him three as well, but elbows Moxley. But he still has Rollins to worry about. As Moxley taking a little breather on the barricade as he clearly needs Oh my god, there's the breathers! There is no breathers against the rings, but what in the hell is she Uso doing? Jimmy! Off the Christmas tree to the table! Uso splash! From the top of the Christmas tree! I cannot believe what I've just seen in the span of like five minutes. Well, that has to be like 30, 40 feet in the air. That's absolutely insane. As now, we get a view of Jey Uso and Kenny Omega in the backstage area. As they're going at it. On top of the catering table. Oh, super kick to the damn, what the hell? Just super caught, just super kick Pentagon for no reason. And now Jey Uso power bomb onto the chair. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. As now Roman Reigns gets go. Oh, no, no! Roman is out of the way and Seth Rollins kicks John Moxley. And now Roman throws Seth Rollins into the post. And now Roman Reigns spear for the barricade. The Lord, a massive spear. Through that barricade and Joe Moxley is, he's got to be out. And now Kenny Omega and James are making their way back into the arena. And oh no! That is not ideal. That is not ideal right there for Kenny Omega. That's Jey Uso. Dragging him back, but Umaga setting up a table tower. A double table tower. And now camera. A camera being used as a weapon against Kenny Omega now. And Omega, gonna get thrown onto the Christmas tree. Jey Uso has all the time in the world to think of what he needs to do right now. And the crowd showing their love for this matchup. As now, the bloodline once again have all the momentum in this matchup. I hope you never come back from this. I hope we never recover from this. I don't want to see you in this business again. You hear me? And same goes for your friend Moxie over there. He was knocked out and in a pool of his own blood. You hear me? Oh my god. The disrespect from Roman. No one likes you. No one likes you. You, you suck at wrestling. I shouldn't even be in the same way as you. I shouldn't even be in the same building as you. It's Rollins. 
trying to fight back, but Roman gets him with a big boot. What is Roman Reigns doing? Picking up a glass shard. And my god, he's, he's stabbing with the glass shard! And Umaga on the top of Umaga! Splash! To Rollins! There's a cover! Oh no! Moxley drags out the ref! Moxley saves Seth Rollins! And this round is still ongoing! But Moxley gets slammed onto what's left of that stair. And Umaga now, picking him up and slamming him right back down. Roman Reigns unwrapping another present here. Oh my god, that's a cinder block. That's a cinder block. Roman Reigns has unwrapped a cinder block into this matchup. I don't even want to think of what that's going to be used for. Oh, Roman Reigns, oh my god. Roman Reigns setting up Seth Rollins' head. And Roman... Off the ropes, he... Umaga... No? Umaga stopped Roman in his tracks. What did he just tell him? I did not catch that. Where is Roman going? Roman... What the hell? Roman off the goal! He trips him up! Moxley trips up Romans! Kenny Omega taking down Umaga! Omega running the ropes now! Kenny Omega over top of Umaga! Top hey, Con Hilo to Jimmy Uso! What a turn of events there. Jimmy Uso laid out flat, and I believe everyone's laid out, except Solo and Matt Jackson. These two somehow still going at it. I mean, look at this back and forth action in the timekeeper's area spy buster onto the table there. And Matt Jackson getting up to his feet on top of the table. Matt Jackson backflip taking down Solo Sokoa. Somehow, Matt Jackson is still able to do moves like this. After all, he's been through a solo Sokoa. And Roman Reigns gets his head hit with the ladder there. Omega now. Snap Dragon. Suplex the Roman on the ladder. But that hurt Omega as well. That hurt him as well. That's not the brightest idea, but sometimes it's fun to do reckless things. As once again in this matchup. It's everyone down except Kenny Omega. He's fighting to get himself back on his feet. And he's eyeing up the cinder blocks. This could seriously, no joke, in someone's career. This could put someone out of action for quite some time as he places it on the back of Roman Reigns. I'm not quite sure what he's doing here, but we'll have to see Omega eyeing up Roman Reigns! Stops a cinder block on his back! Are you kidding me? I could have broke his back, damn it! Kenny Omega rolling him over. Painful here to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Roman kicks out. How in the hell did Roman Reigns just kick out? How in the hell did he just kick out? And now Moxley brings the toaster to the mix. Because what else aren't we missing? And now, oh my god, a barbed wire plank. I'm sure this is one of Moxley's favorites, but gets hit with a pallet. As he was eyeing it down, but he's fighting back. He's fighting against Solo Sokoa with that plank. And instantly Solo Sokoa is busting wide open. That one might have hit her artery. And oh my god, if that one didn't hit an artery, this will hit an artery. But oh, thank the lord. Jey Uso saves his brother! And now John Moxley gets thrown into a stair. And now it's Kenny Omega setting up Roman Reigns in what could only be V-Trigger position. Roman Reigns is about to be in a world of pain if he already isn't in it. Kenny Omega off the ropes now looking for the V-Trigger connects! Is he looking for round two here? Kenny Omega, round two, another V-Trigger. My God, he's going again, looking for the trilogy. Another, oh. Jimmy Uso stops him in his tracks. But Omega, what's he doing here? Off the second, off the top rope, and he's gonna stop his chest in on the apron. 
Umaga though, got to throw him into the post. And Omega, down he goes. Now Jey Uso getting thrown into the stair. Wallace now, super kick to Umaga. Super kick to Roman. And now, Seth Rollins, curve stop to Umaga. Paradise ship to Jey Uso. What cover? Cover, pull it cover. Who the hell's gonna win it? What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? What in the hell just Ladies happened? Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the second round and new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Who is it? John. Oh, no way! John Moxley did it, damn it! He didn't throw Roman Reigns! What are you doing? Seth Rollins is pissed! Rollins is absolutely furious! The referee was not fast enough! He did not count for Rollins! He was not fast enough! And now Solo Sokoa is beating the hell out of Rollins! But John Moxley, your new World Heavyweight Champion, is coming in to save Seth Rollins! He's Matt Jackson! Goes Jey Uso into the post! And then proceeds to super kick him! What just happened? That was the craziest turn of events, and it's not over yet. Jimmy Uso getting thrown up to the announcer's table. The Young Bucks signaling to each other something. Pointing to the top turnbuckle. Oh God, not more. I've seen so much high-flying action tonight, and it is, there's still more to come. As Matt Jackson or Nick Jackson are in position. Good Lord Almighty, they're gonna do it! Oh my God, what in the hell? What did I just witness? This is just such an insane feat of athleticism. That is insane. As oh, the man who just lost his World Heavyweight Championship without even being pinned. And there's the man who did it. What a shot. Those two right there have done what they've wanted to do this entire time, and that's get revenge on Roman Reigns. And John Moxley has taken away Roman Reigns' prized possession, his World Heavyweight Championship. And now Roman is storming off out of pure frustration, leaving his cousins in the dust. As soon as the Koa gets caught, Paradise Chef! Moxley is on fire tonight, but you're Nagi to roll my God, Rollins. That's a hard bump. That's a hard hit for Rollins. To the outside there, but a bump by Rake. Oh my, the raking, oh, he's raking the back of Umaga. Omega with the ball, oh my God, elbow drop with the ball by plank. If that doesn't tell you that we're in the hardcore round, I don't know what will. As your hardcore champion, Kenny Omega is laid out from that elbow drop. From Jey Uso, but Jey Uso is going to get stopped out by John Moxley. Umaga back up to his feet, look for a Samoan spike, Moxley ducks under. And where the hell is he going? Throwing Umaga out of the ring now. Right next to Rollins, and oh my god, Moxley off the ropes now. Moxley, middle of the floor, suicide dive, taking out Umaga. Moxley is fired up. He looks ready to take out everyone in this matchup. It wouldn't be easier, considering it's a five on four assault now, since Roman Reigns has left the mix. And now Rollins scaling the ladder in the middle of the ring. Umaga being held down to a table outside the ring. This is really dangerous. Oh, Jey Uso gonna kick the ladder over! Doing a double table sack! Go Seth Rollins! As John looks on, as its partner has been put through a stack of tables. Hard hit for Seth Rollins. He's already hit, taken multiple hard hits in this matchup. That one is a little bit different. That one just might hurt a little bit more than the rest. It's now. We see Rollins laid out flat, but it's Jey Uso up in the ring now. But it's Omega Beatrager out of nowhere! Getting him back with a V trigger. Taking out Jey Uso. Omega will you do everything you can to retain that championship. As soon as the color gets spiked onto a ladder. But Solo picks it right back up and throws it at Moxley. It's Moxley. 
Gets busted open again, but Omega hopping over and landing Solo Sokoa. Kenny Omega, like I said, willing to do everything he can to attain that hardcore championship. That means absolutely everything to him. And he's putting up Jey Uso up against the glass pane. Don't tell me he's looking for the down V trigger. Through the glass pane, is he? Kitty Omega looking for the V trigger through the glass. Oh my god damn! Beautiful Yura Naki 450 by Matt Jackson. Unbelievable stuff. What is even happening at this point? Will we ever have a winner in this matchup? Jimmy, look for a close line. Mac ducks it. Jimmy flips through. Super kick. Mac ducks it. Mac Jackson. He ducks the melee kick. And now it's Jimmy Uso running towards Kenny Omega. Hits him with a drop kick. Back up to his feet. He goes. Gonna flash. Mac Jackson into the corner. Super kick to Jimmy, though. Jay Uso looking for a close line. Flips through, though. But Jay still flashed him. Come over here. And Mac Jackson breaks it up. Just in time. Oh my steel chair to the back of Matt Jackson covered in barbed wire. And so is Akoa on the apron now. What in the hell are they doing? Matt Jackson hanging over the apron. Oh my god, no way. This is gonna hurt. Matt Jackson about to be in a world of pain. Splash on the apron. The bloodline with all the momentum. They need to win the match. And John Boxley goes through a table. What a feat of strength from Umaga. Incredible stuff. Omega throwing Jey Uso into the ladder. He's back in this. And it's Nick Jackson fighting back against Jimmy Uso. Suddenly, the Bull Club has a chance at a matchup. V Trigger! From Kenny Omega, Masilla Sokoa looking to take out Nick Jackson. Solo, slowing the ladder on him. Steel chair to Solo though. Back of the head, damn it! What in the hell is Omega doing? Stop on the ladder! Rolling through! V trigger the Jey Uso! Come on, turn around, double Uso V trigger! Into a stop dragon on the ladder! Omega! Where does this all come from? From Kenny Omega! The thought of him losing his title crossing his mind has fired him up this much! The ladder! Getting set up again, but Umaga somehow is playing to Omega! And now Solo Sokoa with a kick to Nick Jackson. But Matt Jackson on the top rope leg drop, taking out Solo Sokoa. And Matt looking to take out Umaga! Umaga has been taken out of this matchup! Matt Jackson sacrificing himself to give Kenny Omega a chance, one final chance, but it might come to a close as look what the hell Jimmy Uso setting up for. He's on the glass pane. This could be it for Omega. Omega coming back though. Omega off the ladder. Omega. Kenny Omega. Oh my god. Phoenix Flash off the ladder through the glass pane. Cover it. Damn it. Count it. That's it. Kenny Omega retains and the Blood Club sweeps the bloodline. A clean sweep from round one to round three. Team Blood Club have won everything. With the help of John Moxley and Seth Rollins, the Bullet Club prove that they are number one and no one is even close. The Bullet Club are on top, they've been on top, and they will be on top for a while. This match is everything we thought it was going to be and it somehow surpassed its expectations. Non-stop action from start to finish. Neither me or the superstars caught a break in this matchup. I mean, I could barely keep up at times. But I'll tell you what, I cannot wait for the next night show. I need to see how things fold out between these two teams. Whether it's with each other or between each other or something. I just need to see the outcome of this matchup. But this is what ended the matchup. A Falcon Arrow off the top rope through the glass pane. Takes out Jimmy Uso.
Kenny Omega got the one, two, three, and he retained his championship. But what a night this has been for the Bullet Club. The bloodline might have just fell apart a little bit tonight. But what a matchup nonetheless this has been. And as I said earlier, I cannot wait for night show, and you should be very excited as well. We'll see you there.